Hey creatives, I am so excited you're joining me today because I cannot wait to tell you about the beads that I have just uploaded to Etsy and their origin. Now these are not the original beads because what I'm about to tell you about are actually antique beads. Um, and they, the ones that I've added today are done in an etched style that mimic the Z style beads from between 2000 and 1000 BC around maybe India, but origin is unknown, most popular in Tibet. Now I will put the Wikipedia link down below so that you can read further about them, but I thought I would just share with you some fun facts today and show you a couple of examples of beads that are the originals. Now spectacular, very, very bohemian looking. Um, if you find these at all and they are authentic and you want to buy them, you should because they are so neat. And here are some fun facts. I already told you about the origin. It's unknown, but thought to be between 2000 and 1000 BC around India. Now, they did become more popular and are more well known for being from Tibet. And I think it is because that they were more widely used in Tibet. And they were used because they were considered to be, provide a sp positive spiritual benefit and used as protective amulets. Now, most commonly in necklaces and bracelets, um, but they could be used in other forms too. Uh, the other thing that is very interesting about them is the way that they were made. Now, because it is a lot of work to etch beads and the technique they used is still really unknown, but you know, some speculation and replication efforts have been done and this is kind of what they have come up with. But first you mine the stone and then you drill the, the hole first because a lot of damage comes from trying to drill the hole. If the stones are not stable, they can crack. And if you've already done all the decoration, then you've wasted that effort. So the holes were drilled first and then the, the Z design or etching was done. And it's still a mysterious technique, but speculation is that it was etched in with sand or some sort of sharp object and then treated with like a wax or a dye. I mean, it is, Fascinating, but again, if you're really curious, check the link below because there's a lot of information about them and I just think they're so beautiful. Now, the beads that I have added to my Etsy store are no, by no means antiquities. They are modern manufacturing in a Z style. So you will see that they still have an etched look, but it is not as... Um, specific in the design as the originals were. Again, I'll show you some examples of originals here and here. So pretty, so interesting, love them. Um, but that's not what I have. This is more what I have where you can see that there is kind of an all over kind of geometric design um, that's pretty consistent. And then I'm not actually sure how these are done either. My best guess is that they are um, obviously drilled and then some sort of etching is done maybe through the layer of the rock. So that way you see the actual stone underneath that translucent stone design underneath. And then you still have some of the rock on top and then it is polished and faceted. That is my best guess because I don't know. I thought that they were very cool. So when I found them, I I actually bought a ton and used them and they were very popular. I did bracelets and necklaces. I don't actually think I did any earrings with them because I thought that they were so cool in larger groupings together. So necklaces and bracelets really gave me the opportunity to use a bunch of them. And they're just so pretty. This is actually my favorite color because it is a hot pink and I just think that it's so fun and bright and happy. Great color. I only have one strand of these um, and this is actually the eight millimeter width. So I only have a few strands of these actually 
at all. I have the hot pink. I've got the white. So nice and crisp would look great with pretty much everything. Especially during summer when you're wearing your cute maxi dresses. And here is the blue. And I've got actually got two strands of these. Let's see, two strands. They are so pretty. And then of course that is actually it as far as my eight millimeter diameter is is concerned. But then I do have some in the 10 millimeter. And I'll just show you the difference here. So here is the eight millimeter, which is what I've already been showing you. And here is the 10 millimeter next to it. And you can see that there is a difference. So just to give you an idea of what that looks like, there you go. I do have the dark blue in the eight millimeter and in the 10 millimeter, as well as the white. Now, I do have a few other colors in the 10 millimeter. So I've got a light blue. I've got this really pretty dark coral design over kind of like a smoky quartz look. It is agate, so it's not a quartz, but it does have that translucent gray color. It's so very pretty. You could probably use these a little bit more timelessly because, you know, it's a great color for fall, but also you can brighten it up for spring and summer too. I love these. These are definitely bright and happy. They are what I call sherbet orange um, over a light orange agate. I just think they're so pretty. This is actually how these come. I did use these for necklaces on a little leather cord and I just took the leather cord off. Um, so they are already strung. It's a little more than, it's almost seven inches. So six and three quarter inches and they do come with the gold spacer beads. So if you wanted to just mimic what I did and put a leather cord on them, easy necklace. You could also add a clasp, turn them to a bracelet, or you could take it apart and make whatever you would like. So I do have those. And then the same for the carnelian. I do have already with the gold spacer beads in the same length. So necklace, bracelet would be very pretty. Now for the ones with the gold spacer beads, I do have several colors of these. So I have almost too many to hold in one hand. Oops. Here we go. These five colors, you see I've got the white, the carnelian, the orange, the bluish green, and the light blue. And these would be great stacked um, if you didn't want to have, you know, too much effort on your part whenever you get them, or you can completely take them apart and do whatever you would like. I highly encourage that because it's more fun. But that's it. This is a little short episode today because I didn't have very many of these. Again, they were popular. I actually used the white ones to make these stretch bracelets with a little leather tassel at the bottom. I mean, you could totally make these too. It was relatively easy stretch cord, spacer beads, cute tassel. So easy. Um, but you, if you have any questions, please comment below. I will do my best to answer and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.